Welcome to Road to Billions Podcast, the mentality of an entrepreneur. With your host, Moise Bertrand. Hey, what's up, everybody? It is your host, Moise Bertrand of Road to Billions Podcast. I appreciate you guys for be listening and tuned in, man. I love when my streams go up. Like how Drake said it, that little voice in your speaker to ask me. You feel me? Like for sure. I appreciate you guys, man, from the bottom of my heart, for real, for real, man. It's, it's been an amazing journey. I tell you guys that at every podcast, every episode I get a chance, I really do appreciate you guys. I'm grateful. Um, the journey is not sweet, but it will be worth it at the end, for real, for real. But today's podcast, man, I'm making this early morning. It's 8.46 a.m., July 14th, man, and I just wanted to drop this podcast for everybody who's listening. You need some haters, man. If you don't got no haters, you're not doing nothing, for real. Like, if people don't like you, and I'm not talking about – the haters, I'm not talking about off relationships. I'm not talking about, oh, she took my man or he took my girl. I'm not talking about that type of hate. I'm not talking about, oh, he got more money. I'm not talking about like, well, that is a type of hate, you know, but I'm not talking about relationship hate. I'm talking about real successful hate. Like people become haters when they see you starting to evolutionize into a person they never thought of, of you know, seeing you as. What do I mean by that? And just like when a, ra- a lot of rappers, they leave their hood they feel like a lot of people have animosity and they gain more ops, you know, oppositions. And um, that's a good and bad thing because at the end of the day, like, the more people who don't like you, like, you know, no one who ever made history, first and foremost, was, was ever liked. Like, it's impossible. So if you want to be liked by the whole world, being the best version of yourself, it isn't going to work because people aren't going to want to see you at that highest peak of your capabilities. Like some people want to see you as the person they always knew you as, like the person who probably was doing things that you don't do now. So they probably don't ever see you evolutionize into this great person. That kind of strikes their spirit really, really bad because they're like, why them? Why not me? So when I tell people like you need some haters in order to really know that you're doing your thing, I'm not telling you guys to go make haters. I'm not telling you guys to go make enemies. I'm telling you guys, it only makes you stronger and it makes you know that you can't give up. Like, you know, people are praying on your downfall. And the only way to make them shut up and make them feel sick is by just keep doing what you're doing. And that's being raw. That's being cool. That's being authentic. Like, I tell people, like, I don't tolerate any disrespect. But at the same time, I don't entertain it neither. You know, I don't entertain negativity so I don't even involve myself in a lot of things that may bring me down or may bring my energy down but I do take note of it and you will take note of people who not who of people who aren't liking your photos anymore people who used to like your photos but when you start moving up people don't like your photos no more and it's not nothing like oh what is this a like okay cool but they watching your story and we all know like people who watch your story if you could watch my story you could like my photo and if you don't it's like I'm not saying there's nothing against you but I don't have any I don't really, I'm not really judgmental on the likes or anything, but I do feel like it just shows a, like, okay, cool, you're doing, you like, bro, you acknowledged it. But a lot of people, they may never even give you your flowers until everybody else starts supporting you, and that's kind of fucked up, you know? You know, I, I kind of see that in my life now that a lot of people I used to be cool with, they're not cool with me no more. And I don't really care, you know? I don't really, to, to be quite frank, I don't give two fucks. You know, I really don't give a fuck who likes me, who doesn't like me. Well, I just live a life where I'm very authentic and I'm not trying to say that like in a disrespectful way or any um, like I'm not trying to be egotistical. That's not that's not what I'm trying to get to you guys. What I'm trying to really preach to you guys is the fact that you just have to be that person who no matter what comes your way, you have to stay focused. You have to stay tunnel vision like future said that like I can't really lose because my heart is pure, you know, I have pure attention. So Whenever you have pure attentions, you will always win at the end. And what I mean by that is like a lot of people, they don't go into business wanting to just be the person who probably grows the business. They probably want to be the boss or they want to boss everybody around. But the attention that comes from a person who's not like that may say, I want to see the, I want to see everybody win. I want to see everybody move up in ranks. Like that's a real pure attention person. You have different type of people you run into every day. And then some people are not going to be, be the person you need them to be. If anything, they may reveal their true character to you because your soul irritates their demons. Like it just gonna ha- it's gonna happen inevitably. Like people are going to show and reveal themselves. Like an actor can only act for so long. And I'm I have great discernment. Like I have I would claim I have a third eye that's really open. Like 
for guys who don't know, I took shrooms before and it opened my eyes. It opened my third eye like tremendously to a point where I I see things from a different perspective. Like I, I went ahead and guys, I told you guys like shrooms, microdosing, like people do that all the time. I don't do it anymore. The last time I took it was probably like what, 2020 and college type shit. But um, when I took it, man, it just, when I took it a few times, it made me open up my third eye and I didn't really know what was what was going to come out of that, you know. But when I'm getting older, it's like it's it's starting to let me see a lot of things more clear, if that makes sense. Like I really do know certain things that I can't explain. But at the same time, I get these feelings that some people are in support of me. And it kind of hurts because the people I, I grew up with, man, they have they 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 don't like me, bro. Like for some reason, I don't know if it's because they don't want me to grow they don't want me to leave or they don't want me to like they don't care is this a lot that i just you know i don't question myself about it i'd be like well if you don't like me dang where did this come from because if you were solid for real this would never come across you so when i tell you guys if you don't have any haters it's cool grind put that work in let them hate you because at the end of the day you guys may not um you, you you may not agree with me but i do agree with this statement like the more people who are watching you the better you perform you know, the more people who are doubting your downfall, the better you perform because I feel like you have a point to prove. And I feel like the only thing that will keep you keep you going is knowing that you cannot fail. You cannot let people see you on your knees. You cannot let you cannot let people see you fall down and 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 um and just give up because it's not easy. None of this shit is easy. You know, so when you have people who try to destroy your image and your reputation, man, fuck them. Like we're gonna ball somewhere else. Like I don't need you type shit. And the same thing goes for people who you don't know who doesn't like you. Like, they may not like you because everybody else likes you. They may not like you because you made something successful. They may not like you because people show you love or you just bright up rooms. They may not like you because you know how to do certain things they don't know how to do. Like, people don't like people for a lot of reasons. And that's why I kind of move a certain way. And I move, like, I move through, cr- I move through cracks and things. And I kind of go through my own through my own, like, maze and everything in life because I really don't follow other people's footsteps. Like, if anything, I consider myself solo dolo. I always say that about myself. Like, I have friends, but I, myself as a person, I'm solo dolo. Like, I like to do things solely by myself. And I'm not saying I don't like to work with a team. I'm just saying when it comes to just take care of things and take care of work and take care of businesses and take care of projects, Moise is a great worker by himself. And that's period. That's independency. That's not me being funny. That's just me knowing how to just move. And I want people to be on the same wave sometimes, but you bring that back together with your friends. You bring that back together with people you love. And you just be the person you need to be in order to get to where you need to be at. You know, some people work better in teams. I work good in teams too, but sometimes I feel like, you know, I could take this project overboard and I need to go ahead and just take it overboard and just go ahead and do what I got to do to make it successful. But then again, some people work on teams, and that that could be another way you become successful. But me particularly, I work by myself, and I kind of I kind of realize that a lot of people they don't understand what they're doing, so they tap into what you're doing, and it's okay, you know, it's okay to tap into what I'm doing. It's okay to ask me questions, but what's not okay is trying to steal my sauce and try to use it for your own benefit. Because now, if I'm giving you free advice and I'm giving you free sauce, I don't want you to ever feel like you did it on yourself. You did it by yourself. Like, let's not, let's be very clear, my guy, like, and my girl, you feel me? Like, if somebody puts you on to a play, don't go around saying you did that shit by yourself. Like, because I look at that as a hater mentality as well. Like, nobody ain't put me on. I did this shit by myself. And you had like 10 people just teach you what you knew, like what you know now. And you out here like telling people, man, I came from the ground up. I built this shit up. Bro, no, humble yourself first and foremost. Because once people see that you're trying to be too independent, you you want to take the credit for everything. Like, I don't like taking credit. I really I really consider myself the shadow in the background because a lot of people may not know, but I helped a lot of brands build themselves up. Like, I help a lot of people get their business up. I help a lot of people get into business. I help a lot of people get in, started in investing. Like, I really don't take a, I really don't take credit for a lot of, for a lot of things just because like. I don't care for the spotlight. Like, pay me the front end, pay me the back end, I'm gone. I helped you out. We forever cool, and this is what you doing. Like, this is what I'm just helping you with. But I really feel some type of way when people have a way of saying things that don't show your appreciation. It's like someone's telling you how to 
to the basketball and you out here telling people, I was the only one in the gym. I'm like, bro, come on, be realistic, man. We're not doing this. We're not doing this um, this out the mud mindset. You worked with someone, someone mentored you, mentored you, and you got yourself where you need to get at. So don't be a hater, man. Don't be, don't be, um, don't be hating on nobody because they may be somewhere in life you're not because comparison is the thief, is the thief of joy. You know, we know this. Like, we see this all the time. We see people envy their brother. We see people envy their partner. We see people envy people. Don't even, they don't even know. Like, I see this and I hear it, but you know what I do? I stay away from it. You got to stay away from the the slick jokes. You got to stay away from the naysayers. You got to stay away from people who really don't know what they're doing in life and they're trying to bite your style. Like, if you're trying to bite my style, that's going to hurt you because I'm me. And I can't copy nobody else because what I feel like is best, I'm going to do. So if you feel like you're copying me and you feel like what I'm doing is best, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying it's always good to take things from a different perspective. Let me see what Mo's doing. Let me see how could I um, add my own link on sauce to what he's doing. You feel me? I, I fuck with Mo. I see what he's doing. Like, it's okay to give people flowers. Like, I spoke to, um, you know, the fashion designer last episode with him shout out to him man he came out here and gave some great gems and we was just talking about like you have to really be confident in what you're saying you really have to understand that your value cannot be undermined by anybody like the minute you try to undermine me and try to like underpay me and then unvalue what i have to offer i then take away my energy because i know who i am as a person and i know what i did in the past and i know how how that i even help you you know a lot of people who come to me for help i don't ever ask for no money like, I never ask people for money. I just tell you, if you want to book me, book me through the link in my bio. If you don't want to book me, we still going to have a little conversation. But I'm not going to give you all the sauce that you may want. But I'm not going to turn down a, a helping hand. Like, I will always be the person who reaches out to people and still try to help people no matter what. You feel me? It's until you push me away and you start doing some negligent and malicious shit. Then we have a different ball game. We talking about that's a different combo. But... You need haters, man. You need haters in order to take it to the next level. Like, fuck all that. Like, you need people who don't like you because if people, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping for real. Like, people I thought was going to come up with me and be where I'm at now, I look around. They're not here. Like, I look around and I'm like, damn, like, a year, two years ago, we was all vibing and cooling. Like, we was all chilling. Like, a few of us, you feel me? Now I look around, it's, it's less of us. But, you know, like Jay-Z said, less of us means more plenty for us. You feel me? So I don't look at it like, damn, I want to bring the whole hood with me, man. I want to bring 50, 50 people with me, man. No. If I got one, two real solid people around me, that's cool. That's all the friends I need. You feel me? I don't need 50 guys, 50 women around me to to coerce and to feed and, and feed my ego. Like, I don't need to feel like I'm, I'm welcome in areas that out those 50 people – I'm going to say one person don't like you out those 50 because it may be more. But I'm going to say one person out the 50 doesn't like you. And that's that's quite frank. That's that's like really the basis. We all have to agree with that. If you have 50 people around you, one person out that 50 does not like you. You know, so we have to be very much constant conscious about what type of energy we bring around and very much like understand like people aren't going to have the best version of you in their head. They're going to only create that version of what they ought you you to be in their head. So if they feel like, man, he's not supposed to be that guy. He's a bad guy. He's a he, he thinks he all that. And, you know, fuck him. When they see you, that's the only thing that's replaying in their mind. Like, why him? Why not me? Like, people have different type of um, feelings towards everybody for whatever reason they have. What I tell people is, I don't have time to be in my feelings because there ain't no money there. You get in your feelings and you think negative all day. You see what happens. See where your life gets you. See where you see where you get stuck at. You know, you you telling yourself every day, like, you know, fuck these people, man. I don't care. Nobody ain't on my team for real. You know? You're going to be in a negative mindset, a negative situation sooner than later. So when I tell people, like, Stay away from ops. Stay away from people who claim they're your friend, but they're not really doing things to help you out, you know? And I'm not saying you always need somebody to help you out. I'm just saying people who just don't show up for you. Like, you show up for everything else but me. And I look at everybody like that. That's hating mentality. Like, a hater mentality say jokes, and there's a truth in every joke they try to say. Like, oh, bro, you... you." And I'm, like, looking at people like, man, what the F are you talking about? Like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like, you ever heard somebody say a joke and then you look at them like, bro, that's some hating ass shit, man. You just said, but I'm going to peep it, though, and I'm going to note it. But bet. 
that's where it starts from the jokes and then it starts it's tr- it trickle down to other conversations they have with other people about you but like i said like you need people like that to to fuel your rage you need people like that to really push you to to your best capabilities of yourself your your the best version because people going to be like i knew he couldn't do it. i knew she couldn't do it she a flop he a flop once you give people once you give people that that um permission to call you to call yourself a failure and you really run with that you just fell in their trap but if you did fall right they seen you fall but you got right back up and you shake right back then they really mad at you it's like god they get really irritated like that shit really piped them up even worse so what i try to tell the people is like it's okay to have people who don't like you you weren't meant to be liked you weren't meant to be liked by everybody like the people who liked you like the people who like you are gonna like you for you good bad ugly everything they gonna know you as a person they gonna see how solid you are because you've been in situations with them that's how i'm gonna determine my character with you like have we ever been in a situation together for me to really see how solid you as a person because you know everybody could talk a good game but when it really comes to being in situations where people have to really show who they are and their loyalty and their truthfulness and they actually they their determination with you it reveals a lot you know so all I want to say is you guys keep chasing your dreams, man. If you don't got no haters, you ain't popping. If you want some haters, go get them. All you got to do is go grind a little bit harder and put that shit in their face. And just like Young Dolph said, like, we wake up every day and we go get to it. Like, we don't wait on nobody, no man, no woman to give me a plate. We don't wait on nobody to tell me what I need to do. We don't wait on nobody to give me um, permission. Like, we go take that shit. We don't ask. We don't ask for nothing, you know, especially being the person I am. I don't ask for nothing. I go get that shit. You feel me? Like, one way or the other, I'm going to go get it. I preach to you guys every day, like, listen to the podcast, listen to past episodes, and listen to everybody who who comes on this podcast. Like, the people I have come on this podcast, two things. Either I worked with them, I mentored them, or they're very much knowledgeable in what they're doing. So we all have a community I'm, I'm building around RTB. So it's really all about how you take what's given to you and use it to your base, best of capabilities. Like everybody's dropping info and gems on this and gems on this podcast. It, it, it doesn't have to be the number one podcast. It doesn't have to be the number one podcast in the country. But what it is is authentic and it's real and it's from a different perspective. It's from people who are from the Gen Z population, my age, 23, 24, 25, 26, all the way to 30, 35, however old are you. We need people like that on this podcast. And, of course, we're giving gems out to everybody who's listening. But I really want you guys to understand, like, the only way you're going to get up in life is if you really focus on tunnel vision. Don't focus on what other people think about you. Don't focus on the name calling. Don't focus on them not showing you support on Instagram. Strangers are going to make you rich. You know, at the end of the day, who you came up with, you may not leave with. You know, whoever you met in the beginning may not be where you need to be at, may not eventually land where you are when you become successful. And that's that's a hurting feeling, but it's reality. So that's like Nipsey Hussle said, like, you just got to grind. It's a marathon, man. It's not a race. It's not a race, you guys. Stop comparing. Stop assuming that your life is worse because somebody always got worse problems than you, um, even worse than you. I know some people who complain all the time, and I'm like, bro, you have a lifestyle that so many people would, would die for, and you out here complaining. You're out here crying about little shit. Like, you need to go ahead and get on your grind. So don't worry about what other people are doing. Like, stay focused. Like, don't worry about negativity. Pray. Be honest. And just chase your dreams, man. So I just want to leave you guys with this reminder that um, whatever you focus on will amplify. You focus on good, you get good. You focus on bad, you get fucked up. And that's all I want to tell you guys. It's been a pleasure to speak to you guys this early morning. Roll the Billings podcast. Check out the link in my bio for all consultations and Entrepreneurship Academy. And I dropped a, um, a business development course on there, too, for free. Follow RTB, um, Roll the Billings, uh, Instagram. Follow me, Billinger underscore Moist. And just, like, you know, share the podcast. Let others know how you feel about it and just rate and review. I really appreciate you guys. Much more success and abundance headed your way. It's been an amazing journey. I appreciate you guys. Take care.